Armstrong. And all the pianos that you're going to see in the show are from my personal collection. And I suppose if I were to pick out a favorite, it'd be the next one you're going to see. I'm rather proud of that one with all the mirrors on it. Uh, there are only two in the whole world like it. And I got both of them. <laughs> Which brings me to another promise that I made to you. Uh, you're about to... Uh, meet once again a very talented young man that I'm very proud of. I really did hire him just about two years ago while I was appearing in New York to be my chauffeur. And after he worked for me for a while, I discovered that he too had been playing the piano most of his life. However, when I first met him, he played the piano by ear. But during our association, I've had the wonderful pleasure of teaching him to read music as well. And I must say, he's one of the fastest learning and most brilliant students I've ever had. And I'm truly proud to refer to him as my protege. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet my friend Vince Cardell. I also had two suits. <laughs> I know what you ladies are thinking. If he plays as good as he looks, he's got it made, right? <laughs> Wait till you hear. Vince, would you like to tell him what we're going to play? Well, ladies and gentlemen, our good friends Darius and Carlos are going to join us in a little Latin American fun. Okay, uh, Vince and I will start it, okay, fellas? And then when you get the message, jump in with the coochie coochie. No kidding, if the beads are turned the wrong way, it's murder. <laughs> One bead will do it. Yeah. 